Hey guys, I just wanted to do a uh, quick YouTube video. It is the 23rd of December. I just want to miss, wish you guys a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year um, from me and my family. And I also wanted to show you something that I recently built. I think it's pretty cool. Hopefully you guys share the same interest. Um, so right here is my brand new AR-15. Right? I'm going to show you guys a few things. Safety check. Yeah. It's unloaded. So... I built this from scratch. Just gonna show you guys a few things about it. Comes apart, two pins. So this is the stock right here. It was pretty easy to build. The hardest part for me on building this was getting the hammer. This right here. You have to push it in there and get the pin in. But I pretty much put it together in 30 minutes in my truck. Um, just with my multi-tool that I have. Um, when I first put it together, I thought, man, this is too easy. Maybe I did something wrong. So I went over to my local uh, gun store and I said, hey, man, can you check this out for me? Make sure I put it together right. He's like, yeah. Yeah. So he takes it and pulls the trigger, right? And then clicks it. And then if you let loose of the trigger slowly, it should uh, lock into position to pull the trigger again, which it does. And he said, yep, good to go. So I said, sweet, you know. And then I just kept doing the build. Um, cost me about $1,200 total to build this. I'm sure I could have, you know, cut some corners and made it cheaper, but it's my gun. I built it the way I wanted it. It's got a uh, a little uh, storage right there. I don't know if I'll ever use it because the gun is kind of heavy. Um, it's got another storage right here under the hand grip. I got some tools in there. Just for uh, like the red dot and a few other things. Um, one thing I did notice that's kind of weird compared to other guns is the safety selector will not go to safety unless there's a round in the chamber. I don't know if I like that, but I guess you know you don't really need a safety if there's no bullet in there. Um, that's the mag release. Yes, it is loaded. Every gun is always loaded. Um, yeah, so that's the, that's the lower. And for the upper, we got the Embus flip-up iron sights. And I got the Spark uh red dot let me turn this on so you guys can see it yeah there you go check that out that's a red dot sight and what it is is it's kind of like a holographic red dot inside of here it doesn't project on anything and pretty much where the dot is is where the bullet's going you know, if it's sighted incorrectly. Um, I really like this red dot. It seems like it's pretty high quality. If you if you can see right here, it has little cables attached to the caps. So you don't lose the caps. Um, it, and you can dim the... You can dim the red dot just by pressing the buttons. And you hold it down to... Uh, to shut it off. <clears throat> so this, I got these two uh, Troy 
pads right here because when I first built it I didn't have anything there and the rail was really rough and I mean it it won't cut you but it's just so it's like sandpaper almost on your hand so I got those and I got this right here um, I like this one better it's uh, it's a lot lighter and but you know this one prevents a lot more uh, heat from getting to your hand if you end up heating the gun up um, so a little bit about this it's got you know just a just a regular factory uh, bolt carrier group it's a uh, direct gas impingement system it isn't a piston um, which you know there's nothing wrong with it but some people like the, the piston driven system because they say it's cleaner but they, they tend to be uh, top heavy in my opinion and uh, you know there's nothing wrong with the direct impingement system military's used it for several years um, so let me put this back together I think anybody could really build an AR if you have you know just some basic tools with this particular uh, top end system I do have the forward assist and what that does is say you get a round that doesn't go in all the way you can just ratchet the bolt in you know has these little grooves on here that ratchet as a dust cover um, it is a stainless steel barrel which people say lasts a lot longer and they're more accurate that I don't know if it's true or not um, yeah so that's pretty much my AR-15 really simple to disassemble and put back together two pins boom done um, it's really comfy you know I think everybody should have an AR-15 just because they're super cool looking and you know it and you know if the if the time does arise where we need to you know protect our family against you know foreign or domestic problems I say it would be a good option I just I just got this 40 round magazine which is a you know standard capacity magazine some people call it high capacity I don't because uh, the gun was made to fire it normally um, now if you talk about it like a drum magazine I would call those high capacity but these 30 round magazines standard capacity I like the uh, dark earth color personally it's uh it looks like a you know like a brown brownish bronze color it's kind of hard to see with the light there we go um goes well with a gun and it's also not you know like a stark difference like this this tan one it's kind of almost whitish so and then I got a black one too but I'm not a big fan of the black black because it kind of sticks out too but I guess if you're in an urban setting it's not that big of a deal I just bought 420 rounds of a 223 I have not even shot the gun yet so I'm hoping to do that today hopefully it goes good and uh, if it does then I'll definitely give you guys a review oh one thing that I wasn't completely thrilled with this hand grip is just a teeny too big for my hand and I kinda feel like my pinky wants to slide up on this last little groove but I don't know well we'll see I like the texture of the rubber it's just it seems like it's made for a bigger hand than mine um, yeah so we'll see we'll see how that goes but so far I like it I'm very proud of it you know I took my time well, I didn't really take time because it didn't take me that long but uh, it was really fun you can do it a lot cheaper than what I did 
but you know to each his own so I was also at the store and my wife got me this exploding target so pretty much what it is is it's called Tannerite and what you do is has these little white BBs in here and there's a package in here you can see it I didn't open it it's in there you open that package up you shake it up and then you shoot it with a high-powered rifle it explodes they sell them at the sportsman's or sportsman's warehouse yeah you can see the, their little white BBs and if if I'm correct I think they're made out of ammonium nitrate which I believe is in like cold packs like ice packs um, and the stuff in the other packages uh, aluminum powder so anyone could make it really you just can't transport it when they're already mixed because that's against the law from my knowledge in Washington um, yeah so uh, hope you like the video Merry Christmas and I'll give you an update on how it shoots and uh, we'll go from there.